Gracie Reed here today coming at you with a layout in my life crafted album. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking this gorgeous photo that my son's friend actually took accidentally <laughs> but turned into this beautiful beautiful photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my crop tool in Photoshop and I'm going to set the width height resolution setting to um, life crafted page size which is five inches by 8.25 inches and then I want it to be 300 dpi for printing and now I'm gonna try and choose a place on this photo where I think it will crop best and now if I put this on the right hand side of my life crafted album the holes will be on this side so I think that orienting these kids all the way to the right will be the safest best bet for this page I really don't like how much of the um, trees get cropped off here so what I decided I'm gonna do instead of just keeping this to a 5 by 8.25 is I'm going to span just a little bit of the next page too I'm gonna sort of bridge the gap with this photo so I want it to be probably seven maybe maybe six let's see six and a half and I will just cut it yeah I like that six and a half by eight point two five and I will just cut it with two inches to go and this will be a full photo page and then I'll have a little bit of um, of the photo on the left hand side as well so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to accept this crop so now it is exactly the size that it needs to be for my album page and I'm going to add a few embellishments to this page to make it interesting before I print it. So two embellishments in mind, maybe three for this page. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna grab the star scatter from the digital kit, for the, the renewal digital kit. And I'm going to make this 100% so that they are nice and big. I think that might be too, too big for this page. So let's do 75%. And I want these stars to scatter in the sky. And I'm gonna do that by creating several copies and just kind of haphazardly laying, layering them around so that nobody's like head gets covered up but they're nestled in real nice. And I will edit these in when I start putting my other embellishment on. But first I'm just going to play around here until I have something I like. I don't want there to be too many, but I definitely want the sky to be filled with these fun star scatters. So I'm just kind of trying to strike a balance here and make it perfect. So I am duplicating. I like to duplicate by just holding down command and option and dragging and that will duplicate, but you can also hit command or control J or right click on the layer in the layers palette to duplicate. There's many ways to duplicate this layer easily. I just find that the fastest way is to click and drag and hold down command option. So I've got several copies here, too many in fact, but <laughs> I will start editing here in a minute. And I'm gonna add my next embellishment, which is one of the wire words that says imagine. And I wanna drag a, um, guideline to one and a half inches so I know where I'm going to be cutting this photo to span the page because I don't want the um, imagine word to go past the cut because I don't want it to be cut in half. That's part of the problem with trying to make this photo span both pages was that the only way to make the imagine look right and centered on the photo was had me have had me cutting it in half and I didn't like the way that that looked. So now that I've got that where I want it to be, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start um, erasing some of the stars that are making it hard to read um, imagine so I'm just going to use my eraser tool I'm going to zoom in in a second so that I can see what I'm doing I'm just going to use my eraser tool and just erase the stars the white dots are still fine I just want to erase the stars that are getting in the way of the word so I'm going to zoom in and make sure I got the whole star and I missed just a tiny little piece right here so I'm just going to erase that and then I also want to edit the stars that are crossing the um, axis of where I'm going to cut. So I'm gonna move these around until I'm happy with the way that this looks because they're a little bit 
oddly spaced at the moment, but that's looking better. And then I'm going to um, use my lasso tool and erase just certain stars. So once I have these done, which I'm getting close here, almost happy. I'm a little bit fussy. I'm always fussier in digital than I am in paper because it can get, you know, perfect. <laughs> okay, so there's one star. I'm going to zoom in again, make sure that I get all of these stars um, correctly erased because they do have shadows. There's two options in the embellishments. You can either use the star scatter that has the shadows already, or you can use the star scatter without shadows. I chose the one with shadows, so I want to zoom in and make sure that I erase the entire shadow too. So there's one. I'm going to move it. Oh yeah, I'm not erasing. I'm moving. That's silly me. Um, I'm, I'm moving these stars off of that cut line. So, cause I want them to still be there. That was the thing is I erased that one originally and I didn't like how blank it looked. So that's why I'm zooming in and I'm making sure that I grab the white dots or at least not cutting them in half. And I'm just moving these off of the cut line. I'm going to do the same thing with this blue star right here. And then I'm going to add some journaling. So I'm just using my text box or my text tool to draw a simple text box that I'm going to adjust the um, font in. I'm just going to put in a placeholder font at first so that um, I can see it. And then I'm going to move it around and adjust it. And I decide that it's a little bit empty down here. And since I didn't have a lot of journaling to sort of fill up that space, maybe I would add in another embellishment. So I thought about a word strip, but I didn't want to add more words to this page. I thought that just imagine stood on its own pretty well. So I immediate or almost immediately abandon that and instead go with this wire string of stars to sort of mimic the top stars and give this page a little bit of grounding at the bottom so it doesn't just look like it fades into black with nothing going on down there. So I'm gonna mess around with this wire a little bit and then I'm going to add in my actual journaling and change the font. You can see I'm just moving it around trying to figure out where it would look best on this page because I'm just struggling slightly with just how empty it feels at the bottom, but we're going to get there. So I decide that I'm going to move this down again, but then I just, I just don't love it. And so instead of using this wire with the stars, I'm going to switch it out for some vellum stars. And instead. I think that these will help ground the journaling in that space better than a wire that spans the whole page. I think it just, it needed some framing, but that wasn't quite the right direction to go. And after lots of fussing and fighting with this text box and all of the stars, I end up with three stars of varying sizes that frame my journaling and now I'm ready to print. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the canvas. I merged everything together and now I'm going to change the canvas size to eight and a half by 11 and go to print. Okay. So real quick, you can see, I actually printed this um, as a full page image before I decided I just didn't like it. You can see not only is it cut in half, but um, also the holes go through it too. You can still read it. Um, it'll probably be about this far apart in the album though. So I don't love the way that that looks. Although I do love the idea of having a full page photo here and uh, it was just, it was beautiful except for there was no way to add this word without it looking wrong or getting cut in half. Um, and I really wanted the word, like I was more committed to the word than I was to the whole page. So I have it over here, uh, printed the way we just worked on it. And so now I'm going to finish it up. Okay. So this is one of those instances where less is more at this point, which is something that I learned real quickly. Of course I have to finish the layout. So I have to extend it horizontally so that it fits in the album. Um, but I keep trying to add things to this that it doesn't need. Um, I tried to overcomplicate it by maybe making this traveler's notebook signature a flip out. I decided I did not need to do that. Um, and instead I'm going to trim it down into a little bit larger than a three by four size and adhere it to this layout. I really loved the, um, 
contrast of this white star paper, like this multicolor star paper, with this photo that is all purpley blue with the lighter stars on it. I thought that that was a cool contrast that kind of finished off this spread really well. And then I liked this um, four by six card with this pattern on it that has the arrows because I was pointing back at the photo. Um, so I matted the cut down traveler's notebook signature on that blue paper. And then this is what I, this is when I start like trying to complicate things, right? I'm pulling out embellishments. I'm trying to add more to this layout, just basically so that I feel like I've done something tactily um, because basically because I was recording a video, right? I was like, well, I gotta add something to this so that, uh, you know, I'm not wasting my time recording this video, uh, but I didn't wanna add too much. So you can see, I just keep removing things. All I ended up adding was that word bit at the top and that yellow plus sign. And then I'm gonna add some of these purple uh, sequins. And I've cut out this process a bit because my Nuvo glue is, no matter how many times I unclog it, it just, keeps getting clogged, it stays clogged. So it was quite the process trying to get <laughs> these sequins down. You can see I'm just making a mess of things. Um, so I just cut out all of the annoyingness of that. But that is it, that is all I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna punch a hole into this card to make it a tag, which is my downfall because I cut just a little bit too low right into the top of that O. We survive though. I'm gonna um, add the string to it and call it good. I'm not gonna add any more. I'm not gonna uh, overcomplicate things. So if you enjoyed this video and this tutorial, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There's a link to the renewal collection in the description box below, and I will see you next time. Thank you.